The rake has been around for over seven years now and its history is long and complicated. It's a story of how a small game managed to amass one of the best and most loyal communities on Roblox and subsequently lose most of what it had attained. It's a story of how our Clyde Gray friend fought his way through adventure, victories, loss, and controversy to become an icon of Roblox horror. And it all began with one person. The year was 2016, when a young developer named RVVZ, who was inspired by the popular Survive the Roblox horror game genre, decided to create one of his own based off of the rake creepypasta. He began work on his game, and on September 28, 2016, the rake beta was released. Throughout the course of the next few months, RVVZ made a bunch of changes, including adding hours, night cycles, and items. As a result of these updates, the player base began to grow, prompting RVVZ to hire Deliver Creations to make models for his game. This addition to his dev team was a massive decision, and it changed the future of the rake forever. As 2016 came to a close, the rake beta was doing very well. Deliver Creations and RVVZ continued to make updates to the game, adding game passes, making more realistic rake models, adding lore, and generally making the game even better. This persisted until the one year anniversary of the beta game. It had been a year since the release of the Rake beta, and while RVVZ and Deliver were still making good updates, the community was getting bored. RVVZ knew that it was time for some big changes, so he got to work. Throughout September, there were many leaks for a new game called The Rake Reborn. Deliver was posting images of a big new model. RVVZ changed the game name to The Rake, fully revamping game. Testing games were being created, and lots of people were excited for the new game coming out. However, then there was silence. RVVZ created the version 11 rake model, but it was never used. People were waiting for some kind of news, but it didn't come until August 23rd, 2018, when RVVZ released the first version of the rake classic edition model. People were getting hyped, but then, on September 27th, out of nowhere, Roblox banned the rake beta for gore and realistic bodies. However, RVVZ was ready. On the same day, the rake classic edition was uploaded to Roblox, and on October 1st, it officially released, starting a new era for the rake. For those wondering about The Rake Reborn, it had never released and was eventually forgotten about. RVVZ and Deliver Creations were very excited for the release of Classic Edition, and they were releasing a lot of updates. They released a winter update with candy canes and an April Fool's update that added a bunch of new weapons and mechanics. The player base was booming and the game had never done better. It was even getting so popular that it was attracting attention from many people. It started with YouTubers like Dylan the Nub getting over a million views killing Rake and Blood Hour. Then Alpha Reborn began uploading two plus hour long videos and getting thousands of views per video. Over the next two years, more and more people began playing the Rake and fan games started popping up. Terrible Blocks made the Rake fan remake with all his own assets. Mateo Miller 3 created the Rake Noob Edition, a meme game where the Rake was a noob. And Zavlad created Bully Mr. Rake, which spawned a plethora of games just like it, creating the biggest Rake fan game genre in the history of the game. With it came even more content and attention. Color Clutch was all everyone could talk about, gaining over 10,000 subs, killing the Rake during Blood Hour at every location in the Rake fan remake. VaryZ was playing and uploading mode showcase videos of different fan games every day, and smaller people, like me, began creating channels and making rake content. The rake community had never been bigger and more invested in the game, however then something happened that changed everything. RVVZ had been observing these developments for some time, content with his game's success but concerned about the proliferation of fan games. People were ripping the models and scripts from his game to put into their own and they were getting thousands of visits, all using assets he had made. The community didn't know it, but they were about to get a nasty surprise. On October 20th, 2020, players woke up to see content deleted, content deleted, content deleted. In one sure swoop, RVVZ had DMCA copyright claimed almost every rate game on the platform and taken them down. Over the next two weeks, any that hadn't been claimed already were slowly but surely taken down one by one. By November 2020, few games remained. The Rake fan remix survived as its assets were fully original, and Bully Mr. Rake rebranded with a different model, but quickly lost its player base as a result. Players were enraged, and RVVZ faced backlash from everyone. He had quelled his competition, but it also turned his entire player base against him. This quickly proved to be a bad move. 
By this point, the Ray Classic Edition had been up for over two years, and updates were beginning to slow. RVBZ had released a Halloween update, but it had been lost in the chaos of the fan game purge, and nobody really talked about it. What they began to notice, however, was the lack of its removal. Angry players began to move back to the rake in November, and they found that the Halloween update was still going on. People waited for it to be removed, and it never was. In fact, RVBZ maintained a radio silence throughout the rest of the month, and a lot of the community still angry at the removal of fan games began to stop playing. The rake just wasn't replayable enough, and the lack of content creation that resulted from the loss of fan games wasn't attracting new people anymore. The rake's player base dropped, and dropped, and dropped. RVBZ had a massive problem on his hand, and it was something that couldn't be fixed easily. On December 5th, 2020, RVBZ asked a relatively innocuous question. What would people want if he were to make another raid game? He advised people that he wasn't sure if it would happen, but everyone was waited bated breath for any announcement of another game release. However, it didn't come for an entire year. RVBZ released another project titled Criminality and it became the main thing he worked on. Some questioned whether he had entirely abandoned the rig. Fan games began tentatively being re-released, and this time RVBZ didn't ban them. In fact, nothing happened regarding the rake until October 2021, nearly a year later. The rake remained unchanged in the Halloween update, receiving no updates for nearly a year. Fan games were being played again, although with not as many players as normal. The rake Classic Edition's player count had never been lower. Something had to be done, but would RVBZ do anything before the game died forever? Yes, he would, and it would be the biggest update the rake had ever gotten. On October 19th, 2021, a member of RVBZ's team made an announcement. A new rake update was in the works and was coming soon. People began talking about the rake again and hype began building. Throughout the next couple months, RVBZ and his team began working hard on a new remastered rake game, and on February 11th, 2022, the rake remastered was released. It featured a completely revamped map, rake model, items, a custom-made soundtrack composed by Deliver Creations, and lots of quality upgrades. The Rake's player count skyrocketed, breaking 3,000 players for the first time in years. The Rake was back in full force, and the dev team even teased a second big update coming in April of that year. Enthusiasm among players had reached another peak, and the game was thriving. But things began to die down quickly. At this point, the Rake had been around for almost 7 years, and its replayability was quickly waning. New and old players were flocking to it because of the update, but the Rake Remastered was simply not different enough to keep players entertained. RVBZ had released his update too late, and people were simply not interested anymore. The player count began dwindling once more, but anticipation still lingered as players hoped for a substantial April update. However, this never happened. April rolled around with no update, then May, then June. The Rake Remastered sat in silence without even its winter map being removed for the summer. It began to seem like the demise of Classic Edition all over again, exacerbated by the frequent updates to criminality. An announcement was finally made that the Part 2 update had been delayed until Halloween 2022. The community became bored again, and while the Rake Remaster was still attracting players, it had mostly lost its loyal community. Halloween came and went, and the update was delayed again, this time with no release date in mind. 2022 came to an end, and no announcements were made until April 2023, when RVBZ made an announcement that the update for the rake was so big that they were going to do another full remaster, but again, no release time was given. In this time, the rake remaster had become buggy and unbalanced, and no changes were being made to fix even simple glitches. The game showed signs of decay, and despite ongoing development on criminality, it appeared as if RVBZ had finally given up on the rake. As this video is being made, it's currently October 2023, and the Rake Remastered has remained devoid of updates, with the only sign of progress being a note from RVBZ saying, Greetings, Rake community. Following up from the up announcement made earlier this year about our plans for the Part 2 update, we've decided to take this a lot further. We've come to the decision that, aside from possible bug fixes and the like for the Rake Remastered, instead of a Part 2 update, we will be utilizing the work that's been done for the game over the past two months to create a new Rake game. We can assure that this new game will not be completely different from the existing game and will still follow a similar gameplay pattern. However, the amount of work planned for what originally was going to be a part 2 would be too substantial to classify as just an update or a revamp, and it simply limits our aspirations too much. We plan for the new game to have more depth and replayability than the Rake Remastered while pushing the limits of Roblox and appealing to a wide demographic. 
I personally want the rake itself to be a lot more advanced than it normally is. To address the lack of communication and updates regarding the original part 2, we obviously love the rake because it's been an ongoing project since 2016. However, despite our passion, we just did not have the time to work on the rake consistently. Our small team works full time on other projects that need sustaining, which allows us to fund the development of the games like the rake remastered in the first place. We underestimated just how much work we'd end up wanting to put into this project, and our aspirations have now led us to the decision to develop a new game. I will be putting together a larger, larger development team for Nightmare Industries at some point. We will not set an, any unnecessary pressure by setting any dates or estimations of when to expect anything, as it won't be in the near future. For now, we will not be answering any questions regarding when or what is coming. Thank you for all your support, especially the long-termers who've been following the project for years. We look forward to the future of the rake. RVVZ, Nightmare Industries. So, as the rake remaster remains stagnant, shattering players daily, the community anticipates an update that seems like a myth. The content creators have moved on to other games, and for most people the rake is nothing but a fond memory and feeling of nostalgia for what once was. A young developer's vision and dedication combined with the passionate support of players and content creators propelled the rake to heights that few could have predicted. However, the rise and fall of fan games, the controversial purge, and the delays and uncertainties surrounding updates have cast a shadow over the game's legacy. Yet even in this silence, the Rake community endures, ever hopeful for a resurgence. The future of the Rake remains shrouded in mystery as RVBZ and Nightmare Industries execute their next move. Will the game rise from the shadows once more, or is it destined to remain nothing but a cherished memory in the hearts of those who roamed its eerie landscapes? The final chapter of this story is yet to be written, and only time will reveal the fate of the Rake. This is the end, for now. If you enjoyed, please like the video and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content from me. If you'd like to support the creation of longer, more complicated videos like this and get exclusive perks, feel free to join my membership down in the description. I'm Lord Ombra, and thanks for watching.